what I love about expeditions is just um, that moment where the boat or the plane that drops you off leaves and it's just like your team and the gear you have in your sled and if you forgot something you forgot it and if something breaks you have to figure out how to fix it you just have to get yourself to point B um, and I love that challenge. The idea was to cross the Greenland ice cap, tow in our boats, and to find a river that had never been paddled and uh, paddle a first descent of it. So um, we found this area with these two, what looked like beautiful rivers on Google Maps. And um, they were these two parallel sister rivers and we named them Twin Galaxies. So we had a lot of gear uh, and a lot of weight. And um, it was heavy climbing up that first part. The conditions were also a lot worse than we had expected um, with the crevasses and the mogul fields and it was a, a hard way to start. We were kiting around and the winds picked up and Ben started getting dragged um, and I was going to go over to help him and then I was like, you know what, the winds are picking up, I'm just going to put my kite down, wrap it up and then just walk over and help him deal with his kite it was a it was a standard you pull your safety release to like bring your your kite down and it totally kills the power of the kite it's something we do like five times a day you know and um, it got it got caught I mean once you pull it you totally lose control of the kite too and, um, so it picked me up and then slammed me back down You know, there's so much adrenaline, like, right at the beginning. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, it's okay. You know, it just hurts and I'll get better. And it wasn't until the second day that it's, it started getting worse. It's not till I got back that I got an x-ray and I had a compression fracture in my vertebrae. And I'm pretty sure I broke some ribs too in the, in the front. Kind of the idea of coming down the ice cap where we did is there was this river that started uh, about seven to 10 kilometers up on the ice cap. And then it, it just carved an ice canyon through the ice cap and then dropped into a lake and then became this river that flowed to the ocean. And yeah, we got to this river and the lake literally like did drain. We tried to keep it light. I kind of thought it was a little funny <laughs> that we just <laughs> traveled a thousand kilometers hauling our boats and there's no river. I felt really bad for Ben and Boomer too, because for me, my passion is kite skiing. And I knew a lot of the river I might have to portage anyway, but you know, for them, they definitely didn't travel a thousand kilometers to hike beside a creek. So our concern was we'd hike over the other one and it would also be too low. Um, but it got to a point where we gave up on the first one and, um, and we hiked over the hills to the second one and it was at perfect flows. We couldn't have asked for anything better. It just got bigger and bigger, and the drops just got bigger and bigger, and we had no idea what was there. You know, from the satellite images, you can only see so much, so it was truly a surprise. And every time we came across uh, one of these rapids, it's you know, it's, it's so amazing. It was a really cool group dynamic because on the first part, um, I had the most experience, and then halfway through the trip, it was this total shift where all of a sudden I had the least experience and I was just relying on them to lead me safely down the river, which I think makes it, I don't know, a better team because you really have to trust each other and, and everybody's adding so much to the trip. It's such an amazing opportunity that we get to go to these areas where not many people have been. And it's just, it's kind of like being a kid, you know, when you're young in your backyard exploring something. It's, it's so exciting and there's so many other areas to go explore.